In this video I want to show you how you can create a new elevator from scratch within Autodesk Inventor. So go on File and then New and um, under Templates you have a Digipara Lift Designer template Elevator Millimeter IIM. Choose that and click on Create. Uh, now the Lift Designer Start screen comes up and then you choose New Elevator and yeah you have to answer some basic questions here so I choose traction with counterweight safety gear 1000 kilograms and um, I will put the choose a one by one, one to one elevator with counterweight on the left side and I choose three floors you also can give here the typical floor to floor height all this data can be changed later so let's go ahead here simply click next to build this um, elevator model. This is the floor level list. We have three floors. I click on finish. And now I have to give this uh, file a name. So I will call this uh, elevator 8 as an example. So the file is now saved. And now there is an up question first update. Do you want to perform a full update? I click yes. What happens is that now the whole elevator model is built. So it starts with a with a <laughs> shaft model and then it um, installs all the different um, components. So what happens during this um, update process is that the elevator configuration model that is in the background is um, updated with an inventor and afterwards you have all necessary objects uh, from the elevator as inventor parts and eleva uh, inventor assembly files and once this update is complete we will have a look at this. So depending on your computer it might take uh, two or three minutes on my computer it takes around uh, one minute to update this uh, basic model here. The final step is um, to build this uh, shaft and let's have a look at uh, the files that we have here on the left side. So uh, we have under shaft, shaft is the whole model of the first elevator shaft zero. We have items like car and counterweight. And But in parallel, let's first have a look at the parallel is L derived shaft, which is a derived inventor model. And if we make the visibility off, then we can see the whole elevator uh, model. Let's have a look at this uh, ribbon here. You have a Digipara Lift Designer ribbon item. And um, yeah, we have items for updating the model, different project items. And one thing I would like to guide you through is elevator properties. So I would recommend to enable this. I usually have it on the right side here. And for every component that you can select here on the left side, uh, you see on the right side the different properties of this object. So these are the properties of the shaft. And if I enable this here, uh, or expand that, and I go on car, you see that I have the uh, car properties here. So let's do a very basic test. Let's change the car width to 1600. And to make this uh, visible in this uh, inventor model, you need to click on Update All. So this big button here, what I usually do is I put this Add to Quick Access Toolbar. Then I have it here in this Quick Access Toolbar. And yeah, click on Update All. And what you see now is that this update is much quicker than the initial creation of this uh, model. So let's um, save for this uh, first uh, section of this tutorial. Let's uh, click on save uh, and save the project. I would then recommend you to continue with uh, uh, lesson number two. 